I want to distinguish coaches from coaching. And this distinction for me is a very important one. When we talk about coaching programs, we are talking about programs or processes that are focused on building, strengthening, refining instructional practices to support student learning. Coaching is not the person of the coach. When we talk about the coach, we are not talking about the program. And I make that distinction, and I know sometimes that you may be looking at me like, well, what does that really mean? I do not want us to be pointing fingers at a person, the coach, if there is a problem in our coaching program. And so today we will talk about coaching as a system that we establish, a process that we establish, a structure or strategy. And we will also talk about effective coachettes, and they are not the same. So for me, that distinction is an important one. Those of you who are in a coaching role, who serve as coaches, do not want to be the person who is identified with inadequacies in the coaching program. That is not your responsibility or your challenge. It doesn't have anything to do with who you are as a coach, as an expert, as a person whose passion and commitment are focused on improving student learning. Sometimes when we put coaches into schools, we do not spend enough time thinking about the coaching program. And that may lead to some challenges that coaches experience but are not related to them personally. So that may seem like a, a fine distinction and I want to make sure that we make it very clearly because there will be places a little later on when we're talking about that framework for successful coaching where that distinction is an important one for us to make. 